Hey all, Russ here, RV TV. Welcome. We are leaving Hungry Horse, Montana. I grabbed a spot here at this RV park for the night. That was a beautiful drive across the Highway 2 coming through the mountains there between the East Glacier and West Glacier. Really enjoyed it. It's too bad uh, that the east entrances were were closed. I would have drove through the park, but I did not want to double back, and especially in crowds. With the Labor Day weekend coming up and everything, it it just not worth it. There's the river. Yay. But what a pretty, pretty drive. Pretty place. But I'm going to do some miles today. We're going to head north. We're going to go up quite a ways, close to the Canadian border and just take a scenic drive. Also, I'm going to pick up the pace a little bit. We're going to travel a little bit faster. So, hope you enjoy it. I think the next town coming up will be uh, Columbia Falls. guessed it it's early in the morning <laughs> I like travel early get the better light sunlight for videoing seen a few rafters on this uh, water here too the town of big town of Kalispell would be up this direction we're not going to go into Kalispell this trip Actually, I think it's uh, Highway 93 we're going to look for once we get up here a ways. Now we're, oh, look at the zip line. Check it out. Now we're getting out of the mountains. how flat it is here compared to what we were just in. <laughs> cool. Yeah, the sign says entering Columbia Falls, Montana. Yay! Here you go. Small town USA. There's a lot of people that live up in this area. businesses not bad but we're gonna keep right on pushing we're gonna look for highway 93 we're gonna trek north a little bit hopefully I picked out a good one good scenic route <laughs> there's also uh, there's a big lake up here. I think it's Flathead Lake. There's Flathead River. There's all kinds of stuff going here. Montana is just a spectacular treasure trove of things to do. Outdoor, just streams, lakes, fishing, boating, <laughs> hunting. I mean, you name it, skiing. This is the place. This should be it up here, according to the phone. Yep. We're going to head up towards Whitefish on Highway 93, Whitefish, Montana. I've never driven up this far, so it's new to me, too. Get back into the pines a little bit, and I see the mountains ahead. Traffic sure picked up. There's the sign entering Whitefish. Welcome to Whitefish, Montana. Boy, that guy's got a pretty good load in that trailer there, all that plywood. Well, here's 
the houses. This looks like residential. Don't know much about the town. A lot of trees. Older style homes. Here we go. This looks like their downtown district. Sign. Yep, 93. We're going to follow it up to Eureka. There's some campgrounds and stuff. I just thought I'd come up this way and then tomorrow we're going to drop down towards Libby. We're going to follow a route on 37. Highway 37. It's supposed to be extremely scenic. We're going to do that tomorrow. Next video. There's all kinds of little shops. I see uh, like a walking mall back there. I bet they got skiing and stuff around here. Look at the brick buildings. Hey, they got flower baskets. See that on the poles? Nice. Small town USA. Looks like we're making it through town here. We only got like, I don't know, it's about 40, 50 miles up to that Eureka, something like that. a state park but I wanted to keep going I wanted to at least find some kind of a campground I have no reservations and I think uh, well I'll have to look when I get up there but most of these places if you don't hit them early they're sold out all right well let's do some mileage I'll kick the cameras on if I see stuff good Look at all the pines. This road is just lined with trees. Can't really see much. Fast pace too. Everyone's doing 65, 70 miles an hour plus. <laughs> Alright, off to Eureka we go. Yay! Got out of the trees. People are passing me left and right. <laughs> Ooh, see a lake. Look on the left. Big old lake right there. Such a fast paced road. Trego off to the left, that's what the sign said. Well, according to the phone, we're not almost there. Getting a few trees back. Alright, we're getting here. Here's town coming up. Eureka, Montana. They got everything here. Fishing, mining, I'm sure hunting, skiing. 
We are super close to the Canadian border too. It's like a park off there to the left. Here you go, here's downtown Eureka. Yeah, that 93, I didn't like driving that road. That was a fast paced road coming up here. People were just flying through up to here. Check out the old buildings. Old Sinclair sign there. Small town USA once again. Once we get through town, we're going to look for a high, that Highway 37. Six miles out of Eureka, there's a campground called Rexford. I'm going to check that out first. Couldn't get through to it online, so we're going to check, see if they got any RV sites for the night. This looks like about it for town here. Pretty area and pretty drive. Off to the right, there's the big mountains. Big part of the Rockies here. But from what I gathered and read about that Highway 37, uh, tomorrow when we drop back down, kind of doing like a big loop. When we drop back down towards that Libby, Montana, that's supposed to be one of the most scenic drives uh, you can take. fuel. I'll get that later. Still a few more businesses out this way. Okay, we're going to look for that Highway 37. More gas stations. With the border being so close, you know, the border, I think, is still shut down. I don't know all the details on it, but there's a ton of restrictions yet crossing. I have my passport with me. I, well, I doubt if I can get across. <laughs> You're going to say, no way. Get out of here. <laughs> According to the phone, we should be getting real close up here. Yep, here's the sign. Rexford. Make a left. Straight, that'd take you right into Canada. All right, let's go find this Rexford. That sign say six miles. We got six miles of Rexford. Well, we're winding down a hill. We should be getting very close. There's a state park up here and other campgrounds. Here it is. I see a trailer coming out. Big sign there, Rexford. All right, let's go check it out. Can't really see much. There's supposed to be a big lake up here. huge lake. There's a few 
buildings. I see rigs coming up. There's an RV park on the left. Sign said no vacancy. Oh boy. <laughs> a few more buildings. Look like little stores. Alright, well, I'm going to figure out where I'm at. I'm going to stop, check it out. Be back in a few. Well, we're out of Rexford. There ain't a site to be had. Dry camping, nothing. With the big weekend coming up. So, we're heading back to Eureka. Yay! <laughs> I found an RV park. I called them back in Eureka. Well, it was a very pretty drive out here anyway. <laughs> if you come up here, get reservations. Oh my goodness. That lady looked at me like I was nuts. Alright, off to Eureka we go. Here's home for the night. Silverado Motel, RV Park, and Golf Course. <laughs> it looks pretty plush. I already got the van parked. They got a restaurant in there. I'm going to eat food later. See what it is. Just down that low drives the uh, RV Park. I'm in space 20. All right. Let's get the drone out. We'll check this out from the air. Up we go. I met the owner. Nice lady. Owned this place 30 years. Said she's seen all kinds of changes. Since the border closed, her business has dropped off like a lot. Anyway, they keep their park open pretty much year-round. A lot of work people camp here. But not bad. Good enough. And no reservation needed. Yay. <laughs> See the mountains? It's pretty windy right now. looking back around right over there is highway 37 we're right there to leave in the morning swing around there's looking up towards Canada seven miles up there seven or eight miles Canadian border looks like some farmland not bad Pretty cool area. Alright, well I'm going to get landed. Go up and check out that restaurant tonight. Get dinner. And call it a day. Tomorrow we'll be on that 37 heading south down towards Libby. This is the RVR TV Virtual Vacation 2020. Hope you're enjoying it. Talk soon. <laughs>